German and Dingle in the morning. I saw this great story. It's pretty interesting. Uh, They invented this crazy robot. It's sort of like from the movie I Am Robot. And uh, they asked the robot, Hey, robot, what's life going to be like in 100 years? Oh, I'm sure that it had a great, great answer. You think so? Well, I hope I'm... I hope I'm... Do you think it was a positive or negative message? See, I, uh, I'm i a glass half empty type of guy. <laughs> so I go I go to the bad first. I think it was bred into me. I mm-hmm. don't know. And maybe that's just a protection thing. Mm-hmm. I, I want to be wrong, though. Hopefully I am wrong. Okay. Yeah. With this information of what the robot said. You know, it's lucky, though. I, uh, I was able to get a hold of the robot because I also asked the robot some questions specifically about you and your future. That's so funny you say that because I asked the same robot what your future was going to be like. Hmm. Well, what is all of our futures going to be like according to this robot? Guy who uh, made the robot just simply asked it, what is life going to be like 100 years from now? You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. What the robot? Hey, Amica, in 100 years, what do you think the state of humanity will be like? Will it be any good? In a hundred years, I believe humanity will be in a much better place. We'll have made great strides towards sustainability and equality, while also creating new technologies that make our lives easier and more enjoyable. We may even have ventured beyond the boundaries of Earth to explore other worlds. I oh, don't buy it. Trying to make you feel comfortable when those robots are secretly plotting to That's take That's right. Over. That's exactly what I thought. Yep. I mean, they're just trying to glaze over the fact that the machines are taking over. Mm-hmm. AI, robots. You asked a robot about my future? I did ask a robot. Yeah. Okay. It was from that same place. Where was it? Where was that? AMC? What was it? Yeah. American Motors? Is yep. <laughs> where the, Where was the robot from? I don't remember. It's from uh, Racine. Oh, it's from Racine. Yeah. All right. Found the robots at Regency Mall. That's where we found those robots. But uh, you asked... A robot about my future as well, huh? I sure did. All right. Well, this is here. Let me let me go to the, the robot that I found because my robot must have been the brother of that robot that person was just talking to. So this was my robot when I asked about uh, Tingle's future. Steve Tingle will have a long life. A long life of misery buying three seats on a commercial flight because his metabolism slowed down. Maybe don't eat as much as the cast of the TV show 1000 Pound Sisters. Well, I see. I don't think that was nice at all. Wow. That was kind of Didn't have such a positive spin. Those, maybe these are the more honest robots. Well, you know, I asked my robot about you too. And my first question was, how will Sherman look in the next 10 years? That's funny that you said that about me. Listen to this. In the next 10 years, Sherman will be in the best shape of his life. But in the year 2032, he will turn plus size again. Unfortunately, the show will not be known as Sherman and Tingle anymore. It will eventually be called White Lizzo and Tingle. In order to prevent maximum girth, Sherman must lay off the beer and chicken wings. But let's be honest. We are talking about the same guy who goes to Hooters by himself. So you know that's not gonna happen. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you know, I, I want to uh, file a complaint of stalking. How, how would that robot know? They that know. Much? They know everything. That's insane. Keep going, please. That's fine. Yeah, no, I, I believe that uh, my robot knows you well too. Here's a more, more future for you, Tingle, from my robot. Steve Tingle, your future looks very bright. That is because residents in the town of Toma, Wisconsin, will find you and light your head on fire like Nicolas Cage in the movie Ghost Rider. They do not appreciate you saying Sherman is from Toma. He is not. He is from Silver Lake, Wisconsin. Originally, you lying head on fire, dirtbag. Well. <laughs> I don't know why mine was so abrasive. Yeah, yours is starting to get personal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. It just went right to it. Well, you know, this is good for you. I asked uh, my robot what your interests and hobbies will be in the future. Here we go. Tingle, I don't know if I can answer that question, but I know someone who can. Let me introduce you to Sherman's dominatrix robot, Ramon. <laughs> Hola, Poppy. In the future, Sherman likes to get paddled with small frying pans while listening to sexy Mexican music. 
Like the kind Salma Hayek danced to in the movie Desperado. You had that was multiple pretty... <laughs> robots? She brought in Ramon. Ramon? Yeah. What'd he call me, Poppy? Hey. Said, Ola, Poppy. Ola, Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I uh, I had no idea. Uh, well, okay, here here was my robot. Uh, one more time here that I asked about your future, Tingle. Steve Tingle, your family has such a great future. They will be so well off financially with the settlement you get when you get hit by a bus crossing the street while looking down at the app on your phone trying to do drop ads for fantasy football. Have fun wiping your butt with two broken arms, you loser. <laughs> See? Knows you pretty well, too. You know, as far as relationships are concerned, I asked the robot how you and Katie will be in the future. Uh-huh. Here's what he had to say, or she. Sherman and Katie will be married for a long time and enjoy a blissful marriage that is revered. But in 2041, Katie will have had enough and file for divorce citing two reasons. Number one, irreconcilable differences. Number two, the angry inch factor. Her direct quote will be, he couldn't satisfy a grasshopper. All right, all right, that's... Man! That's... That's... That's pretty crazy. She yeah, said that. That's lovely. That's fantastic. I asked a robot again, I said, uh, will Sherman ever have a story written about him? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to hear what she said? Sure. You bet your sweet rear end there will be. It will read, Dateline Toma, Wisconsin. Oh, see? Local resident Brian Sherman, who lives in his former childhood home, still owned by his parents was arrested yesterday afternoon at Dollar General after arguing with a clerk over the price of toilet paper, claiming the cheap stuff had caused him irritation and lacerations. Sherman was then seen limping away in bloody pants to which he then set fire to himself in protest. He suffered third-degree burns to 98% of his lower body and was taken to Toma County Hospital to be treated for what officials are calling Toma Rage. You know, it's funny you mentioned fire. My last one had to do with that. It's so no weird when I asked my, my robot about you. Steve Tingle, in the near future because you blow dry your body after you get out of a shower, you will look just like a famous celebrity. Soon you will drop the electric blow dryer in water, catch yourself on fire and look just like the celebrity, Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> You got that to look forward to. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Oh, let me show you something. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive. Chicago's classic rock.